You're listening to Your Purpose and Business Podcast, where we connect you to possibilities. I'm your host, Raquel Walters, a two-time best-selling author, millennial speaker, corporate trainer, advocate, and clinical social worker at heart. Your Purpose and Business Podcast will connect you with everyday successful people who will share their impactful stories, insights, challenges, failures, and triumphs on how they're navigating the working world, whether by climbing the 95 corporate ladder or starting, growing, and scaling their business. So grab your pen and notebook because you'll want to implement the nuggets and tools, strategies shared in every episode. Class is in session. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Your Purpose and Business Podcast. My name is Rachel Walters, and I'm here with Darian Bryan today. And um, before I dive into his bio, I just wanted to just share that I'm so honored to have Darian on the Your Purpose and Business Podcast. I, I believe we've been knowing each other since... Um, primary school um in america would be elementary right to darian right, right, yes. right. and so it's it, it's a time to um to catch up um on his experiences and also for him to share his experience with you guys and um his lessons um that has you know carried him thus far darian brian is an international educator with over 13 years experience at both the secondary and tertiary levels teaching english language english literature communication studies and critical reading and writing he likes writing poetry in his spare time and performing his work sometimes. He's also a fitness, nutrition, and life coach who believes in the holistic development of an individual and also in motivating others to become a better version of themselves each day. He is currently working on several writing projects to be published soon. And in addition to this, he is a voiceover talent and TV actor who has been in several ads and short films when he has the time to do so. His guiding philosophy is that the limit was never the sky. It is our mind. Mr. Brian, welcome to the Your Purpose and Business podcast. Thank you for having me. I feel quite honored to be on this program. <laughs> You're very welcome. So so Darian, tell us something about yourself um, that's not included in um, this impressive bio of yours. You know, the thing is, when you're reading that bio just now, I was wondering, is this actually me? So <laughs> uh, one thing about me <clears throat> that isn't included in the bio is that I'm also a mental health advocate. So I, you know, really I'm interested in helping people, as was mentioned in the bio, you know, just developing uh, themselves holistically. And one of the things I realized, especially from a male perspective, you know, I, I think males in particular need that support. I mean, anyone, I will help anyone, but I think males in particular need that support because oftentimes we think they can manage, but sometimes they really can't. Yeah, I, I like that. And, um, you know, mental health is, is of utmost importance, especially in the society that we're living in now. Like we're just getting bombarded with different things, different issues all over the, the place. And it's important to to know um, how to, you know, be aware of that first and how it is that we can um, help ourselves as well, um, because it does affect us one way or the other, whether we would like to believe it or not. So thank you for sharing that. And thank you for being an advocate for mental health. And especially coming from a male, we don't often see that or, you know, I'll see male speaking up about that. So I want to just say thank you for doing so, Darian. Sure thing. All right. Yeah, yeah. So so let's dive in. I mean, you're on your purpose and business podcast. It's a pleasure again having you on. Um, what do you think your purpose is in this world, Darian? Well, you know, I thought I've thought long and hard about this, and uh, I realized that I can speak, you know, ever since probably high school, I recognized that uh, people would speak with me though I was more on the reserved side in high school, but I think for that reason, people would speak with me just to hear what my perspective was because I, I wasn't very talkative. So I would have an opportunity to share what my perspective uh, was. And so I think based on all that and what I've seen over the years, you know, just moving through high school, university, I recognize that talking to people actually 
helps me to reflect. And I think most of the times I can provide some insight, you know, to individuals. So I think my purpose is actually to help people to become better versions of themselves through conversation and through reflection. Mm -hmm. Simply because I think not many of us recognize the value of reflecting. And so we go through life and we have experiences, but oftentimes we miss the lessons from the experiences because we don't really reflect on the, the experiences possibly sometimes because we find the experiences or might find the experiences unfavorable. And so we decide that, you know, we're not going to really look into the experience and we don't get the lesson. And so we end up going back and repeating those experiences. So I think my purpose, short answer, is to help people become better versions of themselves. Yeah, I mean, I love that answer and, and you know, reflection is not something that um was taught you know at least uh, for myself i don't remember you know it being taught in school or even for my parents i have to say and so you know you tend to go through life and you experience we all experience things every single day right because that's a part of life but some of those experiences are good some are bad some are uncomfortable some are traumatic, and um, even to today, there, there's a lot of us that's still dealing with uh, probably some trauma um, that you know um, have we have carried with us, and and it's important to 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 reflect and um, to to dissect and to get help um, with regards to um, probably addressing some of those issues that has held held us back, and so. Um, I'm happy that you said that that's a part of your purpose, but I also know that it ties into your um your your mission of uh, advocacy, especially when it comes on to mental health. And so, um, if you could speak a little bit more to um, how does one start that reflection process in 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 um trying to to help themselves to um to one become aware that they do have a problem but also um the action steps that they could take um in order um to resolve whatever the situation is and is is that a question um fair to ask you i will i will try to see if i can answer yeah um, definitely uh, so, there's no right or wrong mm -hmm. yeah one of the things i normally say to people is find somebody with whom you can have a conversation you know, do not, and, and this, is, this is why I normally try to speak to men, especially because of how men are socialized. So men are socialized to bottle their feelings, you know, not be expressive, not express emotions. And so one of the, 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 the many ways that we can actually start a reflection process is by speaking with someone, because sometimes we're living in our own heads. And when we speak to somebody else, we can get a different perspective. And so that kind of jump starts us thinking, okay, it's possible that I may be thinking about this in a way that might not have you know, resulted in a, in, a, in a favorable outcome. You know? And so that is the first thing I would say, speak with someone in whom you can actually confide. And then after that, after you start thinking about what are possible other solutions other steps, other pathways that you could have taken, then it becomes a more, a, a, it, it opens basically, it opens for you the possibilities of removing any kind of uh, barriers that you might have had in terms of viewing the situation from a different perspective. And in that way, in future, faced with a similar situation, you should be able to, you know, operate in a different manner. That answer, um, Darren, especially um, regards to your speaking to men, especially um, how at times for a lot of men, um, they can, you know, not be emotionally available, you know, and um, also, you know, practicing um that reflection muscle so to speak um in order to 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 you know become better versions of themselves and to address issues you know um with, with regard to purpose 
because I know your bio is very expansive and I do see that you are also a multi-passionate individual. I see that you like to write poetry. Um, you're also an educator. Um, you're a TV actor. You're a coach, a lifestyle coach, um, holistic coach, fitness. I mean, um, it just speaks to your overall, um, you know, who you are as a person, um, you know, and a lot of times, especially in um, society now, uh, millennials, I know you're a millennial as well, and our audience is typically millennials that listen to this podcast. You know, we, we were taught for many of us, and I will speak for myself, that you should just go to school, get good grades, get a job, have your family, retire, you know, and that's it. <laughs> and so, if you had interest in other things, it was kind of um, shut down. And so, <laughs> you know, um, speak to the importance um, of expressing your multi-passions. And I know that you do that so well. Um, how easy or difficult was that? And when did you decide that it was time? This was really a two-part question. When did you really decide First of all, speak to, to the importance of living out your multi-passions. And then secondly, when did you recognize and decide that, you know what, even though I'm taking a particular education path, I do want to explore these other interests of mine. All right, so to answer the first part of the question, essentially, so I'm an educator. Yes. And this is a conversation I've actually had recently with some of my students. You know, the idea that you can only or you should only choose one path where, where, where I can recognize and understand the importance of streamlining. There is also something to be said about not limiting you as an individual, because as you mentioned earlier, we all have different capabilities outside of what our parents might want us to pursue. Because truth be told, I didn't want to become a teacher, but my parents are teachers. And so they pushed me in that direction. <clears throat> I mean, very grateful because in line with my purpose, I know of an opportunity to mold young minds as cliche as it is. And I'm able to create better versions of these students with whom I have the privilege of interacting. So essentially, I don't think that an individual should limit themselves to only one aspect of what they're capable of doing. You might need to do so within the education system because it is just how it is set. But at the same time, you have to recognize that you have other value within you that you need to share. And to un uh, basically, for the other part of the question, I recognized this during high school, I would say, because even during high school, I was uh, involved in many things. You know, that's the point at which you're basically trying to find yourself. You know, so I was involved in quiz, I was involved in drama club, I was involved in chess and scrabble, I was involved in spelling. I was, I was, I pretty much tried to find things that. I could basically enjoy and also learn from, you know? And from that point onwards, I know that I wasn't the person who was just gonna to stick to one thing because I always had this thought that I can do several things. And so I don't think I should basically restrict myself into just doing one thing. You know, granted, I'm a teacher by profession, but I try my best to do other things you know, which I am also developing these skills at the same time, especially within our economic situation where, to be honest, one stream of income, it, it, it really does make a difference if you can tap into other streams of income. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Multiple income streams. We speak that language over here as well, Darian, you know, because um, it is important and it's not just because it's, you know, uh, money driven. It's 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 a way you're providing value to the world through a product or a service, you know, and especially if 
you um you are multi passionate and um you can monetize um some of your skill sets. So why not do that, right? So it's it's just smart in today's society. So um thank you for 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 sharing that. Um tell us a little bit more though um on some of the challenges. Um it could be one um that you know is at the forefront of your mind um that you faced in attaining some of your goals and that could be um pursuing your education, your degrees. Or it could even be, um, you know, branching out and and um, you know, developing, you know, your skill sets in coaching or or you know, trying to be become or being a, an actor. So, um, speak to some of those challenges, please. So, the major challenge is time. Time is generally a major challenge. You know, sometimes I wish I could add some more days. I. I <laughs> I know probably people listening will be like, definitely not, you know, <laughs> but sometimes I wish I had more time. And so that's one of the things I'm trying my best to see how I can find a solution to that issue. So in terms of working on, on some of the skills that I would like to, you know, pursue, I have to find courses, for instance, and these courses require my full attention. But as a teacher, that also requires my attention. And so at points in time, when I have deadlines, I have to, it's a, it's a toggle between, you know, it's a switch, constant switch between, okay, getting this done, getting that done. You know, so that's the, that's the, the major challenge. But as always, if you want something, you just have to go for it. You know, so as much as time is the challenge, I try my best not to focus too much on the challenge itself, but on the outcome that I want to achieve. Mm -hmm. I love that. I love that. I wasn't expecting that answer time. So I smiled when you said that because I'm like, yeah, I could use some more time too. And I'm sure the listeners could as well. We all could, right? Um, what are some of the things that you think you're setting up for yourself or you already set up or working on um, as far as uh, time management? And I don't really like to say time management. I prefer priority management, but I know time management is what a lot of people um, know that as. So what, what is some of the systems you're setting up for yourself, Darren, if you could share with us? Sure. So essentially, for example, at, at work, I have uh, non-contact periods. So I try to maximize working at work so I can have more time to, you know, pursue my personal growth and development goals while at home. There are times when there is a, you know, crossover and I try my best not to make them conflict, you know. So it's essentially just, just ensuring that, as you mentioned, there is priority given where priority is due, especially when there is also, there can also be many distractions, you know, especially one called social media, you know, right? So essentially I try to ensure that I put that aside. I set a time, time, a timer for myself. So I say, okay, I need to complete this within 30 minutes or I'll give myself 30 minutes to complete this, then I'll take a break. And so creating that kind of uh, time limit for myself helps me to kind of manage the tasks that I have to get done. Because the truth is, we will fill whatever time we think we have with the work. So if we think we have one hour, we'll fill, we'll fill the, the, that time span with, with work. And, and sometimes we find that we don't complete the work because we knew that we, we have one hour, and so we decided, okay, I can complete this in one hour when we could have really done it in a shorter time. And so I have to try, and I'm using the word carefully, try to maintain this discipline of setting time limits so that I can complete tasks in a, in a timely manner and prioritize my personal growth and development as well. Mm -hmm. I, I love that. And I think we can all implement that, especially me too, because um even though um, I do time block, but there are times when I'm distracted. So I'm distracted by the phone pinging or, you know, vibrating or an email coming in and I get the pop-up notification. So it's, 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 it's a discipline. It's a skill to learn. Um, but what stood out for me was when you said, you know, 
when you're at work, focusing on work, you know, when you're studying, focus on studying. So kind of like um, eliminating all of those other distractions as best as possible and just zoom in and focus. And focus is one of the things that we, we um, definitely need um, in today's society. And I know many millennials um, listening on here um, is probably having issues with time management. So thank you for sharing, um, you know, what is working for you. And I'm sure there's always room for improvement I as think. well. Right. Definitely. Yeah. So, so Darren, one of the things that drew me to you, um, separate from knowing, um, knowing you, um, for over these years, and again, I know that it's been some time too that we've connected, but um, I've been seeing your videos on Facebook and I believe on LinkedIn as well, uh, and um, it is one of education, but also motivation. It's one of inspiration, upliftment, and I have to tell you that there's there's days too when I will go on your page to look for recent video and in that moment whatever you're saying resonates with me so I, I definitely want to share that with you publicly on here and so what when, when did you start doing that that's that's my first question and then you know what kind of inspired you to go on video and, and starting to share um your message your story with the world at first I must say I feel honored you know <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, I'm glad that you know it, it is at least reaching one ear or one pair of ears and, you know, possibly having some sort of uh, impact. When did I start and what influenced me? So essentially, as we were speaking earlier, I needed an avenue to present my other selves, so to speak, you know, because I used to be a part of the drama club, as I mentioned earlier, from as early as possibly primary school, you know, high school, right? And I have a passion for acting, you know, still developing the skill and also a passion for speaking, right? So I decided, you know, there is social media. What better way to, you know, impart this, that I have inside that I, I need to release, you know, I need to, I, I, I have a feel that I need to motivate people, I need to inspire people, because there are so many things happening around us that could actually discourage us from wanting to do anything, you know, some things that might actually, if I want a better word, kill people's confidence, so to speak. You know, there are moments in your lives or in our lives, in mine even, when there, you don't feel as encouraged or you don't feel very positive about where your life is going. And I looked into that and I said to myself, there was a, there was a particular moment during university when I felt like things were just not going right. And I said to myself, if I'm experiencing this as a positive person who can and always try to see the situation for what it is realistically, but also try to find those positive aspects of it. And I said to myself, if I can experience this, there might be people who possibly cannot manage those emotions and manage what they're dealing with. And so I think I could provide through these videos, you know, just some encouragement possibly. And so I decided, listen, you know, you want to talk. This is an avenue where you can reach a good, you know, a large audience, you know. So I just jumped on that and started doing it. Before I was posting the motivational quotes. And then I decided that, you know, let's talk as well. And so I just decided to, to go for it. Yeah, you're, you're doing a great job. And I'm sure that there's many people out there that is watching. And even I, I want you to know something too, Darren, even when you think people are not watching it, even if you don't get a like or a comment, mm -hmm. I assure you that they, you are, you know, empowering others, you're giving them strength, you know what I mean? So I, I just want to say to continue to do so. Um, because 
um, there's people that definitely need your message. You know what I mean? And um, some messages only resonate from certain people. And, you know, so you just never know who um, that message will land with. You know what that I mean? That is true. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. True. yeah, you're definitely welcome. And so um, what recommendations are, 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 you know, steps can you share with us with regards to uh, staying focused on your goal? I know you speak about the time management, but um, is there any other you know, a uh, recommendation or advice you could give, up, give our listeners as far as uh, staying focused on their goals, whether that be, um, you know, elevating in their career or if they're a, an aspiring entrepreneur, um, what would that be? I think I might have to think about this one. <laughs> That's fine. What I'd say right off the bat, though, is for me, it's always good to write things down. So I, I mean, I think we all have smartphones now and we have uh, different aspects to a smartphone, especially if you have, depending on what you have, you know, you can write in, in your phone a reminder. You can, I normally write in my notes section, like, you know, something I definitely want to complete as a goal. For example, I, 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 had, a, I had to take uh, help assistance from a financial institution and essentially my thing is writing things down as in your goal or a target that you want to achieve. I think it's, uh, it's, it helps you to attain your goal or your target. Because in this particular instance, I would have had a payment plan from the institution. However, I decided that I wanted to pay it earlier. So when I wrote it down, I put a date beside it by you know, when I wanted to complete the payment. And what that had me do is I had to find actions whatever it was, in order to get this payment done before the time that would have been stipulated by the payment institution. So I think writing things down and seeing it, you know, it helps you to, it, it, it helps you to align your entire body, mind, body, soul, you know, with this particular action that or outcome that you want to achieve. Yeah, yeah, I, I think that's that's um, a great advice, you know, writing things down and tracking, you know, because it's important to measure where where you're at so that Definitely. you can know uh, you write for the future um, to 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 resolve that issue or that problem. So thank you for sharing that. Oh, my gosh, you have dropped so many gems um, throughout, you know, um, our time here on the podcast. And, um, you know, Darian, if you could share with the audience, you know, um, how they can contact you if, if somebody wanted to reach out to you to pick your brain, um, to get some further advice or assistance. Um, how can persons even watch your videos? Um, how can persons um, contact you? Well, I, I, I am mostly on um, Instagram and uh, Facebook. So on Instagram, I am Dari Bryan. So that's D-A-R-R-I-B-R-Y-A-N. And it's my full name on Facebook. So anybody can contact me there at any point in time. I mean, more so Instagram than Facebook mm -hmm. because I'm normally more on Instagram than I am on, on Facebook. Got you. Awesome. And last question before we close out, you know, do you have um, a sort of routine or, or ritual that you, um, you do on a daily basis that keeps you grounded and, and keep you going? Definitely. <clears throat> so work from work. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I wonder if I have a social life, but I do, you know, so it's, uh, it's work. And then once I get home, it's a gym. Once I get back home, then it's working on something of uh, personal, something personal. And sometimes, as mentioned, I might have things for work, work that I need to get done. And so I find some time to do that as well. So I find that that routine, you know, it keeps me on track. Some days are harder than others, but I mean, it, it, I find that once you get into a routine, it kind of helps to push you to maintain the routine, mm -hmm. you know, because I find that sometimes if I'm going to, like, if I don't follow the routine, there is this kind of uh, guilt that I feel, mm -hmm. you know, 
Sometimes though, the reality is that you can't keep the routine for whatever reason. Some things might just pop up that you have to deal with, you know? And so that's something you also have to recognize that though you want to keep a routine, you have to be flexible enough to prioritize something that might pop up, you know, that might disrupt the routine. But the good thing is to have a routine. Right, right. And um, like I always say, um, structure is always good, you know. Um, obviously, things don't always happen, you know, to the T, so to speak, exactly. but um, structure is good and routines are, are great. So, um, Darian, it's been a pleasure and an honor again to have you on the Your Purpose and Business podcast. And guys, I definitely want you um, to, you know, connect with him over on Instagram, follow him, follow him on Facebook. Definitely, I'm um, showing some love over there. And um, guys, as always, always be good to yourself. And, you know, we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye for now. Thank you for listening. If you've loved this episode, let's stay in touch. Head over to RachelWalters.com and subscribe to my email list so that I can send you updates on new episodes, exclusive motivational nuggets, and insider knowledge that's only shared when you join our community. Please don't forget to subscribe to this podcast and leave a review as I want to know your thoughts about every episode. Follow me on Instagram at Your Purpose and Business Podcast. And remember... Your life is beautiful and this is a part of your journey. So embrace it. Speak to you soon.